Well, hello, my YouTube followers. Um, here we have this big box. Let's open it up and see what's inside. I'm not sure if you can see it. So we have the uh, Black Pearl in 172, 172 scale from Svesta. Um, I built the smaller one from Revell, the Snap Kit. It's okay, but this is really cool. If you look at the hole, and the hole is about 14, 15 inches long, so it's going to be a pretty big ship. So here we have the instruction sheet. I see all the plastic here that comes with it. I think seven, it looks like 17 trees of plastic plus the other parts that come with it. And you start here with the the gun deck in the main deck, I think. <laughs> it looks like it. This may not be the main deck, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, because it has a hole here for the cargo base. So this is the main deck. Then you have here the foredeck and this bulkhead. And the bulkhead for the uh, poop deck. And here is the, the second level of the poop deck. Then you build the uh, the base together, but I would probably build the base first and you have a place to set the hole and everything as you're working. <coughs> Even though you don't build the hole until this next section, I would probably do the base and then the hole and then start up here. That would just be the way I would probably go about doing it. So then so you build the hole, and it has a couple cross members that go in there for support. You put the the two top decks onto the hole. Here's the back piece and the top of the poop deck. Then here you have to build 32 cannons. And you see it comes in six separate pieces, seven separate pieces. You have the cannon muzzle, and here's the the uh, Oh, what's it called? The piece where the cannon sits on top of. And then a couple wheels that go to, with it too. And here's placing cannons, but it doesn't really show you exactly where. It just points inside. But of course they have to go... There's probably holes there. In fact, there is holes there. You can see these arrows. It goes here and there's arrows pointing down into the holes where it goes. Same thing on the other side. Sometimes they make these things kind of small with my bad eyes. It's not so great. Then here you have the sides of the hull, and I don't know if I would do it this way, to put them together first and then put them on the ship. I would probably take... Okay, this piece goes on top, so I would do the front part first on one side, and then the back part so it lines up good. Make sure the alignment's right, and the same thing on the other side, that's the way I would do it. And you have some couple cannons go here. And then you have the uh, the bow here. Here's the steering wheel, the 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 door for the cargo bay, and the bell house. And putting it onto the the top deck here, the main deck. Next step, it shows the sides again which is the top part here of the sides. And they're also separate pieces, so I'd probably do it the same way as I did before. Find out which piece goes underneath, which is the front again. So glue the front on and then glue, glue the back on over it. So the alignment is really good. Um, then you have here the catwalk in the back, the back, back piece with the ornaments, and the rudder, and that goes on. 
Then you go to putting the back on these three pieces, which this has to be painted. I think the tops are gold. The windows probably paint them yellow or something to show light. Then you have some framing here. Well, they're the uh, they're the uh, the rails that go along the sides of these two pieces, plus a couple ladders. And you see here, there's some parts that go onto the windows as well up here. And this, I'm not sure what it is. Number 24, I'm sure it'll point to it somewhere. So then you have more cannons with uh, these attachments. They go onto the, the, the main deck. A couple deep uh, parts. Oh, here. That's 24. That's the bowsprit. Then here, assemblage. And these are, and, and those are all the, I don't know, the, the, they're the, the, the shelves that hold the, uh, that hold the trunnions, trunnions? The trunnion was the bottom of the can. Uh, it, it holds the rat lines in place on the bottom. I don't know what they're called. It doesn't say. Then you start building boats, and you see there's one boat. There's a lot of pieces here. No, I think it only has the one boat. Yeah, it's the big boat in the middle. This only has one life raft. I guess it's just for the captain. Then you go to building some stairs and the uh, ornamental piece for the front. Here you have to tie some string here. And that's for all these. That's the, all the doors for the cannons on the bottom. Same here, you can close them as well. Then we start here with uh, assembling the mess. Then we put the mast and rat lines on, as well as the lanterns in the back. And it shows here where these parts go for the rat lines. And up here, I'm not even going in order here. Here's the wheel for the uh, the anchor. I'm sure it probably has another another term for it, but I have no idea what it is. Build the anchors. Here's some more of the rat line holders. There's some detail pieces that go around the mast. Ballast, probably, or something like that. Here you have, you know, showing you to make a knot here for the. That's the piece for the bowsprit. There's also here it shows the line for the main mast. There's a line between the bowsprit and the foremast. It shows you the anchor, how the anchor chain goes with this rope. And we have here the uh, the crow's nests with the rails, the top of the masts, and here everywhere here is showing you how to tie the knots into these in the right way, which is cool. There was also something similar on the Golden Hind. It had really good, really really good. Uh, Instructions for doing all the knots and all the uh, all the lines. So here we have the top, the top uh, rat lines. Some more of these ballot, these weights that go on the uh, masts. The rat line holder things. Not really sure what they're called. I have no idea what they're called. I'm sure they have a name. And then here you have also instructions on how to do all these knots around the holders here for the the, 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 the masts and stuff. Again here. Then we have the masts. I mean the sails. Here we have where all the string, where all the uh, 
lines go, as well as, well as these weights and stuff for all the, for the mass. But really good instructions here for all the rigging. Same thing here. R rigging the foremasts. Rigging the foremast. And the top foremast here. No, that's the main foremast. That was the top foremast here, back here. There's the main foremast. This one has a weird name. I don't remember what it's called, but I saw it a couple days ago. The mast that goes in the back. Instruction on how to rig it. The mainsail top mast. Instructions on how to rig it. The mainsail middle mast and instructions on how to rig it. Has really good rigging instructions. Really, really, really. Really nice. And here we have the um, the bottom main mast, uh, bottom mainsail, top mainsail, the middle mainsail. I don't know. And the bow sprite, I think it's called, or the the bow bow sail. Not really sure exactly what this one's called. Rigging constructions there as well. Then we go to the mizzen mast, mizzen mast top sail. Then we're finished except for some painting instructions here on the back. So, as far as instructions seen, look, it looks really detailed, really good instructions on rigging, but I'm not going to do it exactly everything in here because, uh, I have some extra for it, and I'm going to get some more extra for it. The first thing I have extra for it is a, is a wood deck. This is from Historical Ship Models. It's a really nice company. They make some good stuff for ships. They make wood decks. They make uh, cloth sails. They make all kind of jigs and rigging stuff um, for all kind of ships. And Sailing ships, modern ships, whatever. They have really good, really good stuff. I'm also, uh, so I have the wood deck, which I'm going to have to darken it up some. Um, especially around the edges and stuff, but it's going to be darker anyways. And they also have, like, with the deck they have two different kinds. They have an oak one, and I think, uh, they have another one. Uh, another kind of wood, I don't remember. But I'm also going to be ordering cloth sails for it. They do cost a little bit, but, uh, you get what you pay for, and this is good quality stuff. So, there's a tree with a coat of plastic, which I didn't really see, but it's glass for the windows in the back, plus the lanterns, they're all in clear plastic, which is kind of cool, because I think, like, the lanterns, to paint them, like, yellow on the inside, and then you can do the, the... The framing in gold, I think it would look better. This set also comes with uh, three spools, four spools of thread. Two are the same. This is, this is probably for, um, they're like, two, three brown, two of the browns are the same and they're a little bit thinner. And one spool is, is, is of the brown is a little thicker. Then you have a black thread that is, 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 is even thicker than the others, and you have this uh, bigger piece of rope here, which is probably for the anchors. So, that's nice. Here are the sails, and the sails, for plastic sails, they look pretty nice, but they're thick. They're not... They're not thin like the, the Ravel ones, that thin, really thin plastic. So, I don't think in the end they would look very good anyways. And I'm going to have to look because on the top of the sails are these these cross beams or whatever they're called. They're added into the kit, so I'm not sure 
I'll probably have to end up cutting them off when I use the cloth sails. I'm not really sure. I have to look. I'm not really sure about that. But it looks like they won't be so hard to cut off, really. So here's a big tree. And this has the... This has the parts in the back. Decks. Here's also here's the back piece. Other back piece. It's all in wood grain. And it's nice looking wood grain. Even though a little bit of it might be a little too shallow, I think it, it it still looks good. It's nice wood grain. So it, it's nice looking. And here is the the front part. You see, it's going to require some cleanup with cutting these pins out, and you have to to sand it or scrape it down a little bit to get the connectors free. So here's the f the bow. Also, a nice wood grain to it. There's no flash anywhere on this, but it's it's it, it's a new. Um, Molding, so it shouldn't have any. The doors for the cannon, the cannon ports, also wood grain, looks nice. Wood grain for the uh, these shelves for the the, the uh, rat lines. This is for the boat. These are the tops of the lanterns. The railing looks good. A little flash there, a little, uh, no, not flash, not flash, but molding lines. These are the hooks for the rigging. They all looks pretty good. Here's the, all the trees are the same. It's some of the decorations. Wood grain. These are the trusses for the cannons. The lines for the, I think for the rat lines. The cannon barrels look really good too. Here's the wheel parts for the trusses, and they look good. You can paint them up really nice because they're separated good. And here's some of the, some half naked women. <laughs> Some decoration for the ship. These are all the same. These four are the same. And you have these four as well. And it's more of these lines for the for the rigging and for the rat lines. like uh, pulleys and, and, and all different parts for the rat lines and for the rigging. So four of these and four of these. Nice molding, no flash. Looks nice. Okay, it has two bases. No idea why. Maybe it was a mistake. You had an extra one in there. Or maybe it just has two bases while it's such, such a long ship. So, here's the hull. It has good separation between the planks and nice wood grain on the planks. All throughout. Really nice looking molding. You can see though, there's some cleanup required here in the front. It looks like where it's separated here. Here's a big tree with all the decks. Of course, I have the wood decks. It's going to be going on top of the top deck, which would be this one. Probably this set. They even look. 
on all the decks, no matter where it is, even on the, the bottom deck. You can see the small holes here. I don't know if you can see it, but these are for the cannons. So there's replacement holes for the cannons all along here. Same here, 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 as well as here. But on on both sets of decks, the the, the top deck and the middle deck. No. Well, this has to be the top deck because there's the holes for oh, the holes for the mast here. I guess the mast goes all the way through. At least the main mast goes all the way through. But there's good separation between the planks and there's good wood grain on all of it. it looks really nice. And here is another tree. Here we have masts, in which it has the rope lines here or around the mast. It's good in detail. And this is a really nice molding here. It looks really, really, really nice. Here are the uh, crow's nests. They look nice as well. And on both sides. No pin marks on either side. That's really, really good. You see this has detail on both sides as well. And really, really nice and really nice detail. They did that really, really good. So you can see the rope around here, all around the mast. The mast looks great. Here we have bolt holes. Bolt heads or screw heads, I don't know exactly what they are. But they're there and in good detail. Here's the wheel, it looks nice as well. These are for the anchors. I don't know where the other part of the anchor is right now. I'm not seeing it. But I think it's these. That's one part of it. That's another part of it. I don't, I don't see the middle of it, though. And I think this is the bottom part. This is the top part. But the middle part, I'm not sure. I don't see it right now. Maybe on another tree. This has so many trees. Okay, this bag has the sides, as well as two, the big masts in it. Um, like I said, I won't be using the masts, but they still look good if you want to use them. Even though I think they're probably a bit too thick. And definitely they're not going to be, uh, they're not going to see like cloth out. In any way like cloth. Let's take a look at the sides of the ship here. Nice wood grain, nice little plank separation, and offset. All the planks are separated and offset, like they should be. The sides look really nice. You see the steps here. Nice wood grain, everything. The railing looks the railing the railing looks pretty good too, I think. It's molded in, but it looks good. There's no flash anywhere. But along the top here, there's mold there's a mold line along the whole thing. So that's gonna have to be cleaned up. So here's the last bag. The first tree in this bag, it has the rat lines, which they look really good I think. Considering they're molded rat lines. They're not not really thick, like, you know, being a bigger scale, they're thinner as the rat lines on the smaller scale Ravel kit. They look really good, they're even bent, like, you know, sagging, like, would be real, in real life. So, I would say these rat lines are actually usable. I wanted to actually use this tool I have, that I got with another ship, to make cloth rat lines. But I don't think it's really necessary. These look good. It's a black paint. It'd be good. And here we have we have the, the, the 
rowboat. Let me see here. It has nice wood grain on the bottom. And there's a lot of pin marks here on this piece that's going to have to be taken care of. So it doesn't look all that nice because there's pin marks. Actually, there's nine pin marks here in the middle, one in the front. And one in the back, so that's not very that's not very nice. But the rest of it looks good. Here's the bottom part. There's also pin marks, but it's going to be on this side, so that won't be seen at all. The bowsprit, like a, a lance, oars, and some smaller parts here. A barrel. And here's a mast that's uh, furled. And the last three here are the decorations for the ship. You have the the, the head, um, no that's not the head, this is the head piece that goes on the bow, and the crow, and that is for the head piece too. Then you have a couple more here. A merman and a fish with the tails crossed or actually wrapped up and then you have this really really nice piece here for the back so the kit looks really nice I definitely recommend it over the small Ravel kit the big Ravel kit I have no idea I would think it might be good too but knowing Ravel it's hard to say really. It should be at least as good as this one I think for 120 euros and this is only 70. I definitely recommend this kit but I also re recommend the wood deck and uh, the cloth sails I think. But there's also pirate flags for the top that you can get in cloth as well instead of using stickers or, or foil and stickers and stuff. But I definitely recommend this. I think it looks really good. It's a big ship. About 14 inches in all. So in my next video, we'll be looking at a Sturmgeschütz 4. A Sundercraft Sparzoic 163. It's a German assault gun from World War II. Uh, it's another one I've had for a very long time. It's probably about 18 to 20 years old. And I think it turned out pretty well. I've already re-detailed uh, re re it uh, a few years ago. So we'll take a look at that. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Until then.